Hello and welcome. These are two procedures I have written and you can use them in any user form project in Microsoft Excel. They are meant to help you easily and quickly turn a combo box or a drop down button into a date picker like this one. You can pick the day, month and year from a drop down list. One of the procedures is called make date CBO and the other is make date CBO all. You can use them out of the box without worrying yourself with the details of the code. So let me show you how. Please, you can help this channel by subscribing, like and share our videos. If you want to follow along, use the link in the video description to download the workbook. I have a user form here with three combo boxes. The property name of the first one is CBO day. It is supposed to serve as the day component of a date. There is a CBO month for the month component and CBO year for the year part of a date. You do not need to stick to my way of naming the controls. You can use any code names for the combo boxes. The procedures will work regardless. To make the combo boxes function as date picker, go to the code view of the user form by double clicking the form. From the top right drop down, select the initialize event. Suppose we want just the day part of the date. In the initialize subroutine, we can use the make date CBO procedure. If you downloaded the workbook, you will find the make date CBO procedure in module utils. The first argument specifies the component of the date, whether day, month or year. In this case, we want the day component, so we choose day component. Next is to specify the combo box we want to populate with the day of the month. Remember, the code name for the day combo box we gave was CBO day. We have provided the two required arguments of the make date CBO procedure. So let us run our user form. And when we look at the day part of the date, we have it populated. We can choose the day of the month. We have not yet populated the month and the year components. Let us go back to the code view of the form. If we want the month, all that we need to do is to use the make date CBO procedure again. But this time, specify we want the month and then use the name of the combo box you want to populate with month of the year. If we want the year too, we just use the same procedure. Specify that we want the year component and then tell the subroutine the combo box to populate with the year. Running the user form, we see the day is populated. So is the month and the year part is also populated with five years. If we want all the three components of the date, then there is a convenient way. Instead of using the make date CBO procedure three times, we can use the other subroutine, make date CBO all, which populates all the three combo boxes in just one line of code. I will just comment the previous three lines of code here. The make date CBO all procedure takes three required arguments. The first is the name of the day combo box. The second is the month combo box and the last is the year combo box. This is all we need. Let us run the data form. The day is populated. We have the month and the years as well, which basically is five years beginning the current date on your computer system. Altogether, we have a simple date picker. That is easy and quick, right? Please you can help this channel by subscribing, like and share our videos. Let us look at the optional arguments of the make date CBO all subroutine. The same optional arguments exist for the make date CBO procedure. 
Sometimes we want our date picker to be initialized with the current date on the computer. We just set the init value to true. In this case, the form shows on the screen with the current date pre-selected. If you instead want the first day of the year, January 1st, to be pre-selected, when the form loads, then set the init post parameter to true. The list style parameter set to true by default means entries of the combo boxes are restricted to just the values in the drop-down list. For instance, you cannot mistakenly set the day of the month to say 45 because 45 is not part of the day list. This is more like a data validation and that is good. The last two optional arguments deal with when you want the year to start and how many years from the start year. For instance, setting the start year to 2020 means we want the year portion of the date to begin from 2020. The default number of years is 5. So, our year will start from 2020 and end in 2024. You can increase this number if you want to see more years populated in the combo box. Let us run this. There we have it. Our date picker is initialized to the current date of our system. Now, our year drop-down includes 2020 and ends in 2024. And, of course, the entries are restricted and we cannot type in any value not already in the drop-down list. Try adding 2019 to the year field and you should not be allowed. I hope this subroutines help you develop Excel user form quickly and without pain. You avoid writing your own VBA code from scratch. You are free to use the subroutines discussed in your own data entry form project. Please help us by subscribing to the channel, like and share our videos. Thanks for watching.